Hey girls, Mama Girls here and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing once more a video in the line of Is it worth it? Testing iconic staple products in the beauty community. And you know what? We haven't had a mag moment in a very long time. Stop. What the hell are you talking about? Was it this year? I don't even know honestly. But I won in a giveaway where I won the Harris Reed MAC collection. Check out this video. It was... It was something. I'm just gonna say it. It was something. But besides that, we really haven't talked about MAC. I do have to clock myself here. Openly. And very non-private. I have never bought a MAC lipstick in my life. Today, we're gonna talk about one of the most iconic lipsticks besides Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. And that's Max Velvet Taddy. If you have not heard about Velvet Taddy, are you even a real friend of Dorothy? It's a staple product in this community and I feel embarrassed to say that after um, nearly four years of makeup, this is my first ever MAC lipstick I hold in my hands. I've used MAC lipsticks before, during the time I was at a makeup school. I've worked with MAC products before, I love them, but I never bought a MAC lipstick myself. I'm going for changes. I'm And this is one of these. So the MAC lipstick in the iconic shade Velvet Taddy will be the center and the focus of this video. You guys, if you want to support me and enjoy this video, then you could give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, because we are heading for the millions, at least in my head. But if you subscribe, we are heading for them in real life too. Don't forget to ring a bell to get notified when I post new videos normally every Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, always uploaded at 4 p.m. Central European time, which is 7 a.m. California Standard Time. Three videos a week. Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Only few products have gained their icon status in the lip game. Everyone I talked to told me that they own one of these. Like all of my girlfriends, they own one of these. Or at least owned one at a certain point in time. This is just a staple for so many people. It is a matte lipstick. It retails for $29.95 in Austria. I'm from Austria, if you couldn't tell my thick accent. In the States, it probably will be a little bit more affordable. It's a creamy rich formula that actually has a high amount of pigment. It has nourishing ingredients that actually also make it hydrating and suitable for sensitive skin, while still giving you an all day stay matte finish. When it comes to the ingredients, I'm just gonna throw them up here actually. I do really enjoy them. MAC is a brand that is, you know, more traditional. They most of the times don't have the, you know, most advanced ingredient sets and I am someone who values ingredients a lot. But this lipstick has insane ingredients. We have Octi Dodecanol, which is a fatty alcohol as far as I'm concerned. We have castor seed oil. We have silica. We have paraffin and microcrystalline wax, which are forms of mineral oil. I don't really like them a lot, but it makes sense. Most lipsticks who have these ingredients in there are very creamy and not just waxy. We have a lot of silicon, which actually gives a very smoothed out and blurry look to the lipstick, which is very important because matte lipsticks can put emphasis onto fine lines on the lips. And if a lot of silicon is in the formulation, it just doesn't do it. We also have carnauba wax, we have some triglycerides, we have more fatty alcohols and also vanillin, which gives a little bit of fragrance actually. It smells like a traditional old school lipstick, kind of makeup-y, kind of waxy. All in all, I'm really not mad at this lipstick. So let's take a closer look at the shade itself. Here she is. She's an icon, she's a staple. It's a matte beige-y brown that has reddish undertones, but it's not too warm, not too cool. It's a very neutral shade. It definitely is catering to people with more lighter skin. As far as I'm concerned, there's not a Velvet Teddy Deep. I'm not quite sure about that though. If you know more about it, let me know in the comments down below because I could only find a regular one on sale, at least here in Austria. I'm wearing it on my lips today. It is more 
pigmented and more saturated than my actual lip color. It is also more beige-y than my lip color and a little bit deeper. So it gives me a kind of vampy look. When it comes to the lipstick itself, it dries down. It's a matte lipstick, but it does not feel overly dry. I want to say though, in comparison to Charlotte Tilbury's uh, Matte Revolution lipsticks, they are slightly more drying and slightly more matte. So this is just a classic staple matte lipstick. It's not overly drying, just the slightest bit. If you apply a lip balm as a base, you won't feel nothing. It is very long wearing, it stays on, it's very batch proof as you can tell. This one also is low-key mask proof. Not 100% because it's not a liquid lipstick, but it is very mask proof. Like I love wearing this underneath my mask when I'm at work. This lipstick is a staple in my personal opinion and just the MAC bullet itself, it just has this effect that I can't describe. If you are somewhere in public and you pull this out of your purse, it just makes you feel like a superstar. I don't know why, that's just the power of MAC I guess. Of course there are some lipsticks that make similar shades to Velvet Taddy. When it came to Pillow Talk, and I know I'm mentioning Pillow Talk a lot in this video. It's just a classic matte lipstick, just like Velvet Taddy, and we made a video recently about Pillow Talk. That's the reason why I refer to it a lot in this video. Pillow Talk is one of the shades that is very unique in my personal opinion. When it comes to MAC Velvet Taddy, I actually do think you could do a great job. I would check out Maybelline Color Sensationals. They are not matte, they are shiny, but it's just a warm, kinder nude lipstick with reddish undertones. Honestly, it's not that hard to find a dupe for that. I didn't even bother to show you some, pardon me for that. In my personal opinion, MAC Velvet Teddy is a staple lipstick. Of course, if you want to, you could find something that looks similar, at least when it comes to the color. But the overall performance, the ingredient set, and just, uh, let's be honest, MAC Flair is something that cannot be faked or duped. If you ask me, yes, Velvet Taddy is worth every single penny you spend on it. Period! And this is something very unique, very special. Are you part of the Taddy gang? Like, are you a teddy bear? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe and ring a bell. And tune in for a brand new video in which we talk about iconic makeup staples or just do anything with makeup because it's not just videos about iconic staples. We do full face videos like a full face of Catrice makeup, Catrice makeup coming very soon. Stay tuned, there will also be a little haul of some designer things coming. So you know what, if you enjoy me, if you enjoy my vibe, please do you a favor, do me a favor, do a, a two-sided favor and subscribe and tune in for the next video. Mwah. Bye.